everyone. What a fun way to start day three of Career Steps. Thanks, DJ Amanda. I'm Sophia. I'm the director of Next Step Up, and I'm so honored to welcome you all to Career Steps with BAE Systems. I'd like to kick off this event by taking a moment to acknowledge and thank you, you all for joining us today. I'd like to recognize all of you who are experiencing Step Up for the first time today or this week. Welcome, welcome. Give us a hello in the chat and let us know what team you're representing, as well as your hometown or school. Today is Spirit Day, um, Hometown School Spirit Day, and we know you are all tuning in from all over, and we want to see your hometown and school pride with a fun Zoom background like mine or... Um, our uh, fun outfit or t-shirt like Jess Mara and Amanda who are representing as well. Don't forget that there will be a prize at the end of the week for the winning team with the most amount of points collectively and the teen and next step upper who have earned the most points out of everybody at the end of career camp. So you can earn points by attending sessions like you are right now, showing your spirit like you will in a moment if you haven't already, networking with mentors on LinkedIn. Um, I saw some mentors already dropped their LinkedIn handle in the chat, so you can click that and connect with them there. Let your camp counselor know how many people you've connected with so they can give you the right amount of points. And of course, joining us in our app and participating in the discussion boards. I've been loving seeing all of your, um, your comments and feedback on the sessions and I'm learning so much just from and getting to know you all so much and I love it. Um, so thanks, excited to have you all here today. And Margo, I'm gonna pass to you to share some friendly reminders. Perfect. So first we're asking that everyone take a moment to adjust their display name to reflect three things. So that's your name, your role and the pronouns you use. And you can look at the screen to see what I mean. It's especially important to put down your role. So mentor, teen, or NSU if you're a next step up. And that way we can sort you into the right breakout groups later on. We'd also love to ask that everyone who is able to turn on your cameras to please do so. Even though we're not physically in person, we'd love to create that feeling and it supports us in creating an intimate, safe and brave space for everyone. And all participants mics will be on mute until we go into our breakout sessions. So feel free and please do add your positive comments and reactions into the chat box, which you can find at the bottom of your screen. And if you need support with anything at all throughout the event, please message Juliet in the chat and she'll be sure to help you out. Awesome, thanks, Anne Margo. Our Career Step series is an exciting opportunity for you to get an inside look into various roles, industries, and companies that you are interested in exploring. Our goal for you all is to express your voice among your peers and mentors and increase your beliefs in your personal abilities to shape your own path. You all will connect with, listen to, and learn from company experts in order to build knowledge of paths and professional opportunities that are available to you. And you will increase your knowledge on BAE systems today. We're so grateful to be able to partner with BAE and to take a deeper look at all the dynamic career paths available. But before we do that, let's take a quick look at today's agenda. We're going to start with a goal setting exercise as an icebreaker. And then our special guest speakers from BAE will tell us more about life at BAE and share their career journeys with us. Then we'll head into our breakout rooms for some small group mentoring and networking. And at the end of the session, we will share reflections and some upcoming announcements. Mentors, your role is to model participation by having your cameras on, being present, engaging in the chat, sharing knowledge of various roles within this industry, and providing gui guidance on how our young people can be successful in their early career steps during the mentorship breakout session. Campers, reminder, be sure to note mentors' names during the session so you can find them on LinkedIn later, or um, I see Tracy just shared her LinkedIn handle in the chat so you can click on that and connect with them now. Jess Mara, um, do you wanna lead us through our icebreaker? 
be happy to. Good morning, everyone, and happy day three. Um, let's get into our icebreaker. Um, this morning, we want to start off with something more reflective. As we are in day three of Career Steps and have been learning more about different careers, we want to take time to write down some goals. Goal setting is important to our growth. When we write something down, our brain tends to remember better. So we're going to take some time to reflect and write down some goals. So make sure you're writing this down somewhere that you can reference it later. It could be personal, academic, professional, physical, or emotional. And we'll take about two minutes to take some time, breathe, reflect, write down your goals, and then we'll come back and you guys can share in the chat if you would like to. So we'll start that right now. about one more minute and then we can start to share some in the chat you guys I see you're already putting them in the chat so feel free if you want to share one of your goals All right, so if you would like, you can share one of your goals in the chat, and I'm just going to read a few. I know they're going to come in really fast, so I'll just read a few, but I see Melanie said one of her goals is to finish her resume. Really good start, but need to finish it. Also want to do more networking and LinkedIn. See, I set a timer to make sure we're all time. Also want to do more networking through LinkedIn, since I really use a platform to connect. Awesome. I love this one by our mentor, Christina. My goal is to dedicate more time to my hobbies. It can be easy to get into the rhythm of work, sleep, repeat. Absolutely. I like to re-engage in activities that I love and that fill my cup. Yes. Love that. Christina says, one of my goals is to mainly figure out what I want to do post-secondary, finish reading the books that I've been putting off, and start a crochet business. I love that. Hopefully, these sessions can give you some insight into what you want to do. See, mentally prepare myself to start graduate school. You got this, Holly. To get a job. Physically, mentally, and emotionally prepared to move on to college. You've got this, Suvi. Awesome. Next goal is to get a hold of my new department and go to a nice warm beach soon. Yes. I, I concur. Okay, everyone, thank you for sharing out. So we're going to get back into our agenda and I will send it over to Sophia. Thanks, Jess Mira. What a great way to start our morning. Thanks for leading us through that exercise. And thank you all for sharing your goals with us. Um, love to see you and support you on your journey to success. So um, keep us updated on how you're doing throughout the summer because we'd love to hear it. Okay. Um, I'm super thrilled to welcome BAE Systems and their team. Thank you so much for joining us. We're looking forward to hearing more about you and your journeys. I have a couple speakers to introduce that I'm excited about too. Um, our first speaker is Jenica Dearborn. She is the Deputy Vice President and General Manager of C4ISR Systems. 
She will be taking us through a company overview to learn more about the ins and outs of VAE. And she, after she shares a company overview, we will be hearing from a few panelists and their career journeys. Moderating the panel, we have Laurel Skiff, pre slash early career engineering development program manager. So maybe some of you should definitely connect with her. And on the panel, we have Jennifer, uh, who is the senior principal systems engineer, Margot, who is a digital content manager, and Maria, who is an engineering development director. Welcome, welcome. Jenica, I will pass it to you to tell us all about BAE. Awesome, I hear a little static on my end, uh, so I apologize for the, um, the slight delay there. So, hey everybody, um, like I said, I'm Jenica Dearborn, I'm the Deputy VP GM for one of the businesses within our US-based um, business of BA Systems. Um, essentially, in, in my role, um, I help to kind of lead the business through execution and meeting our commitments, as well as setting our strategic vision and delivering upon that strategic vision. So strategic vision is essentially what you want to be as a business and how you're going to get there. Um, I'm really excited to, to be here with you today and kind of give you an overview of the company um, to, to share the products, the customers we serve, the locations, but almost just as importantly, our values um, and, and our culture. Um, so if we can maybe step through the, the package, great. Thanks, Juliet. Really appreciate it. All right, so on this chart, um, I really just want to give an overview of the breadth of capabilities, both in products and, and customers that we serve. Um, at BA Systems, we, um, we provide commercial aerospace and defense products um, across a number of different missions, um, both for the military and, and also our commercial customers. So they've broken it up into a couple of different segments. Um, electronics, which is really an overloaded term, um, which we use to kind of collect a number of products and capabilities that span anything from um, electronics that are installed on platforms, like the one you see there in the picture, um, to protect them in, um, from harm's way and while conducting missions. We have photonics, both in um, sensors and laser capabilities. I know Maria is certainly well-versed in, in all those things that uh, she and her team lead and do. Um, and everything in between. So we, we provide hybridized buses um, to kind of local municipality transit, um, commercial aircraft uh, parts and capabilities on anything that you, um, you take a commercial airliner, you're probably um, flying with something that uses our, our products and services. Um, and then in my portfolio, we do communications devices. So how do all the things on the battlefield talk to each other in a way that ensures that they can kind of conduct and complete their mission? Um, stepping over to the next uh, box, we build um, combat vehicles, so tanks um, and, and things similar, and products similar to what goes in our electronic side in the air, um, also on, on military platforms on, on the ground. Um, we do a lot of work with our intelligence communities, so those of you interested in software engineering um, and even systems architecture, we do, um, we provide products and services to manage big data for the intelligence community and how you process that data to make sense of it. Um, so a deep heritage there. Maritime, we repair ships. We have a lot of um, ports and ship-based repair businesses, as well as all kinds of systems that go onto those ships. Uh, within my business, we also have unmanned underwater vehicles, which are essentially mini little submarines that swim around under the sea, and then support services. So all the things that get delivered and proliferated um, to all of our customers need to be supported and repaired um, and returned in, in working order. So another uh, big piece of our business. Um, so I guess I would just offer that any field of practice that you're looking at, whether it's engineering, um, program management, IT, um, manufacturing is a huge base for us in, in terms of um, kind of hands-on product build, which is really cool to see. Um, we cover the waterfront, so lots of great opportunity. And um, I've been here for 18 years, and I've, I've completely enjoyed working here. 
um, and have been able to kind of move throughout the company learning and, and growing in um, different kind of positions and activities. Okay, next slide, please. So in addition to the portfolio of products and services that we offer, we're distributed um, very widely across the U.S. So uh, what that means to me is we have the benefit of collective diversity of thought across the um, geographic waterfront of, of the U.S. And also as an employee, you have the ability to move and work from where you want to work. Um, I think there's a lot more flexibility in terms of remote and hybrid uh, work opportunities. And I think the, the sky's the limit in terms of career growth and potential here. So you can start in New Hampshire and move to Austin, Texas, which is another big facility that we're building out there. Um, so lots of uh, great opportunities. I haven't quite found a way to move to Hawaii yet, but that's my, uh, that's my next goal. I should have put that in the chat window. Okay, next slide, please. Um, and I guess I'll, I'll end on what I view as one of our most important, um, the most important aspects of our community is our values. Um, so just as important is as what we do in solving the missions, whether they're a customer or military, um, commercial and military customers, it's how we do it. And I think we strike the, the right balance of focusing on the how uh, just as much as the what. Um, so we've got three kind of imperatives there on our values. Trusted, innovative, and bold. Uh, trusted, essentially, we do what we say and we say what we do. Innovative, um, around the, the organizations that Jen and Maria support. Um, we need to continue to look to the future and how we innovate. So really cutting edge technology and investments there. And then bold. We need to do really hard things and we need to solve really challenging mission uh, sets and we need to do so with uh, high ambitions. Um, and really seeking opportunities to always be the best at what we do. So that's, um, that's a quick overview of, of the company. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting to know all you guys better throughout this, uh, this session. Um, and I think I'm an honorary member of Team Orange uh, today based upon the, the outfit choice. So uh, thank you very much. Thanks, Jenica, so much for that great overview of BAE Systems. I'm really happy that we have several individuals from BAE Systems here to share a bit about their career journey. So I'll have our panelists quickly introduce themselves um, again, and I'll start with you, Jen, if you don't mind. Sure. Uh, so I'm Jennifer Shelley. Um, I went to college at WPI in Worcester Polytechnic Institute in Massachusetts. Um, then I came to work here and I worked here while I did my master's degree in engineering um, at, from Tufts University. And I've been here for 18 years. Um, I work primarily in research and development kind of activities. Thanks, Jen. Uh, how about you, Maria? Sure. Uh, my name is Maria Abreu. I've been in BAE for three years only, but I have been in other companies uh, before BAE. I have a PhD in material science that I completed in 2015. Um, and a bachelor's in physics. I've done a lot of things in BAE. I wore many hats so far, so I'm excited to share some of the things with you guys to hopefully share some uh, tricks uh, for career advancement. Thanks, Maria. And Margot, how about you? Hi, everybody. I'm Margot Jolet. I am a digital content manager here at BAE, so I sit within the marketing and communications function. Uh, I've been with the company one year as of yesterday. Yesterday was my work anniversary, uh, but I've had almost 20 years of experience in the comms fields, um, and I'm an LSU Tiger three times over, so uh, go Tigers. Anybody from Louisiana on the, on the chat? Thanks so much, Margo. Um, so Jen, I'd love to hear a little bit more about what it's like to be a systems engineer at BAE Systems. Sure. So um, I work, like I said, in the R&D group, which is kind of the group that's looking at what the next, te next technologies are, you know, five or 10 years out um, for the military. So we have a lot of times when we're trying to think about what's possible, um, you know, what is the art of the possible? Um, you know, if we take this piece from here and this piece from here and, ooh, there was a new advancement in this kind of science in this area, can we take those and make them into something that's helpful to the military? Um, specifically, my group tends to focus on protection, um, so uh, ways to make the aircraft survive more, um, or the personnel, like a dismounted soldier, 
Um, so those are usually what we're working on, um, but it ranges from everything, right? If somebody has a good idea for space, right? That's my background right now. It's feeling space this week. Um, if somebody has a good idea for how to protect things that are in space, like a satellite that's in space, um, that's something that we'd look at too. Uh, my background is primarily in electro optics. So I spend a lot of time thinking about lasers and LEDs and cameras and sensors. Um, so part of my job is to stay up on that kind of stuff. Part of my job is to come up with new ideas on how to do things. And then part of it is to implement it. So once we've had that idea and someone in the government agrees with us, how do we go off and actually make that thing? So it's a pretty interesting career. I've really enjoyed it. And hopefully um, some folks on the line will be interested in engineering as well. Thanks, Jen. That's super interesting and obviously very important work. So I'm sure we'll have folks that have questions for you in the mentoring session. Um, so Maria, can you tell us a little bit about the path you took to become an engineering development director? Yeah, sure. I realized that I forgot to say my title when I introduced myself. Sorry about that. Uh, so I'm, I've been the engineering development director for BAE Systems for three weeks now. Um, before that, I was a laser systems technology group leader. And before that, I was a technology development manager. Before that... <laughs> I was a test sponsor for the Navy, but I think um, more relevant to the question, the path that I took to become an engineering development director, I think the most important part is the engineering development. Um, I have a technical background, but through my career, I was always paying a lot of attention to the holistic development of the people, of myself and the people around me. Um, I saw students struggle when they were completing the PhD with how to handle the stress, how to uh, even absorb knowledge if they were not in the right state of mind. And I was the student in the classroom stopping the professor and saying, hey, that wasn't clear. Let's make sure that you use other vocabulary so other people can learn about that. Um, I started working with the University of Rochester to prepare material and uh, training for other students on how to fill out uh, college applications or uh, for graduate college, uh, fellowship applications, user facility proposals. Uh, I don't know what else, like how to put together resumes. So I saw a comment on that. I can help with that. It's very easy for me to do that and I enjoy it. Um, and then through all of those activities that I was doing, I was also collecting training from the NSF, the Materials Research Society. I was participating in workshops to develop myself. Uh, at the time, I wasn't really thinking I was going to become a leader. I was just thinking this is a need that needs to be fulfilled and I like it, so I'm going to do it. Um, eventually, when I landed in BAE, I discovered that there are so many things that you can do and they didn't say no and they let me do it. So I took advantage of that. Um, and I, when I learned that the position was open, I called the, the hiring manager and I said, hey, I think this is my dream job. Like, what, do you guys, what are you guys looking for? And I had really good conversations with them. And then I, I, had, I landed the job just three weeks ago. <laughs> That's how I got here. Thanks, Maria, for sharing your journey. It sounds like you also will have some great uh, tips and tricks for the students in the mentoring session on uh, how to create their resumes and apply for college. I know I saw that in some of the comments, so that's wonderful. Um, so Margo, I'm curious if someone were interested in becoming a digital content manager, um, what's some advice that you might give them? Sure, so I think that a lot of you are probably in the STEM field. Uh, if you're a liberal arts person like me, there are options. So I'll say that some of the things that I'll, I'll talk about that are specific to my particular role may apply less to you, but I think some of them are really broad and would apply to any type of, of field. And my first one is to be curious. Um, in my job in communications, I, I um, have had the ability to work with lots of different types of things that I'm communicating about. So um, I kind of jokingly say I've done higher ed, I've done hotel, hotels and hospitality when I had a chance to work with Hilton, and now I work with howitzers. Uh, so I'm in the land and maritime space and get to communicate about all the products like this ACV right here, our amphibious combat vehicle. Um, so being curious allows me to be flexible and to work in any field and, and sort of go back to the best practices that I learned in college about communication um, and making sure that we communicate messages internally to people who work here and also externally to people who are um, potentially uh, gonna buy some of these products or currently have a product and, and are maintaining it. Um, the other thing that I would, uh, I would recommend is that you keep up with world events. Um, as a communications person, 
you know, anything that happens overnight, I could wake up to a fresh new day that's ripe with lots of things, good and bad. Uh, so keeping up with world events, kind of knowing what's happening out there, I think is a, is a good grounding experience. If you are going into the communications field, being a good writer and knowing how to tell a story is essential. Um, it takes a lot of practice to write well, so I encourage you to do it often. Um, and I'll say too that interning and networking are critical uh, in communications, but in any field. Do, do an internship if you can, if you can get more than one internship at some, at some point in your college experience. Uh, I would encourage you to do different ones so that you learn the things that you like the most about the field and you can really learn in, in more depth those things that really excite you. Um, I'll also say to network starting today, please friend us all on LinkedIn and keep up with us and we'll keep up with you. Um, we would like to see all of your faces and, and um, the one wonderful thing about women in professional fields is women really support each other and we will help you get there. It's really great advice, Margo, and it sounds like you've had some really good, diverse experiences that you can share with the students in the breakout room. So um, that's wonderful. Thanks again. Um, well, thank you all for sharing a little bit about your career journeys with us. Um, again, Jen, Maria, and Margo will be part of the breakout session. So if you have additional questions for them, um, feel free to ask during those sessions. Um, so I'm going to turn it back over to the Step Up team uh, to lead us forward. Thank you. Thanks, Laurel. Thank you, BAE. What great journeys and insights and tips. Um, I loved hearing it and very inspirational. I feel like I could go to the moon with you all. Um, so we're going to go into our breakout rooms now. There'll be a pop-up uh, that asks you to join the breakout room. So click accept. And so you can mentor, you can network and be mentored or mentor um, with some of the staff from BAE. Um, and we will come back in about 15 minutes. So I'll see you at the 45 minute mark. Um, see you in a little, have fun. Welcome back. So again, I don't even know that I introduced myself in the beginning, but I'm Jess Mara. I'm the manager of Next Step Up Programs, and we hope that you enjoyed your sessions and your breakout groups. Um, so now is our group share out time, and I would also ask that our mentors, as we are sharing out, if our mentors could drop their LinkedIn's in the chat so that our um, mentees can connect with you. Um, but we will start off with my group for sharing out, and Relina is going to be our representative. Hi everyone, Relina Rocks representing New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, so we had a wonderful group. Um, at first it started off a little slow because um, I, the reason I feel it is because this is such a vast, <laughs> just a vast field and I just had no idea where to start. So um, our mentors actually asked us questions first, um, just getting to know us a little bit and what motivates us. And they circled back saying like, that's what, um, that's what you should always be thinking about what motivates you. And then I asked the question, um, Oh, uh, first they said, um, be curious, ask questions, never be afraid to ask questions because um, faking it till you make it, who are you faking it for? Who are you trying to impress? You're, o you're only stopping yourself from growing and learning. So I asked, what's a question um, that really changed your perspective? And they said, um, can I do this? and why not? So um, the perseverance of finding us, uh, talking with us, um, encouraging us, motivating us, and um, advising us. I was just very pleased and um, very happy um, with our group and our breakout session. Thank you, Relina. Yes, who are you faking it for is literally going on my wall. So thank you, Sarah, for that story. All right, next breakout room representative. Francesca, do you want to go from our group? So, um, hi, I'm Francesca, and for in our breakout room session, we talked um, about um, our mentors' um, career paths and how they got where they are, uh, balancing work and their day to day lives, and collaborating as a team. And yeah. 
Thank you, Francesca. Okay, next breakout room number three. We might have been four, I'm not sure, but um, Pratika, do you want to go for our group? Hi, um, I'm Pratika, and our mentors were Miss Margo and Miss Tracy. So um, first, we just started off talking about like um, something like a little bit fun. Um, Melanie brought it up. So what they like to do outside of work. Um, uh, so for example, Miss Tracy said that she's involved with like USA Wrestling with her um, uh, daughter who does it. And um, then we went into like what skills are appreciated in the resume. So they um, talked about creative thinking, curiosity, uh, lifelong learning and like effort that you have to put in. And then um, we talked about um, at the beginning, Ms. Janica mentioned the term strategic vision. So I asked Ms. Margo to kind of like expand on that. So she talked about how like communications is important with that. And um, also like the word strategic just means like, you know, how you spend your resources, whether it be time, money, or um, basically like keeping your resources um, and using them wisely. And then um, we talked about the difficult parts of their job and Miss Margo and Miss Tracy both agreed that it was mostly like security um, because the security and like legal rules are really tight. So that's one of the more difficult parts. And then uh, we went into um, like how BA system values uh, work-life balance. And um, they both agreed how, um, you know, how BA really falls through with that. They don't just say it, they actually do it. And then, um, you know, Ms. Margaret gave an example of her beach vacation and how like she wasn't, you know, working the whole time. It was like a true like break from work. And then we ended with um, kind of what, you know, all of career camp has kind of ended with this like um, non-linear career path. Like you don't have to stick to one thing. And so um, Miss Margo was an English major and then she went into like public relations and then Ms. Tracy did started off with like the police pathway and then she went into purchasing in BAE and then the IT department. So like it was really inspiring to know that like you don't have to be 100% sure of what you want to do, especially since I'm in high school, it's really assuring because I'm not exactly sure. So um, it was it was really nice connecting with them. Thank you. Awesome, awesome, awesome points, Jessica. Thank you. Absolutely, so many gems. And we should have one last breakout room to report out from. We do, certainly not, or last but not least. Um, and I think we have Holly who's gonna share from ours. Hi, I'm Holly. And in our group, we had Miss Adrian, Miss Jennifer, and Miss Christina. And we first started talking all, talking about um, graduate school and they gave advice on like how to uh, balance, you know, work or work in school and, you know, to not procrastinate and to just, you know, get your, get your work done on time and that, you know, if you stick to it, uh, you're going to complete it and get your degree. And then we started talking about um, how they got started in, in engineering and what type of engineering they do. And I believe Ms. Jennifer said that BAE, BAE Systems offers like a rotational program that um, helps guide um, people to try out those different types of engineering to figure out what they want to do and what their passion is. So that was really nice to hear um, because, you know, some people just want to try out everything before uh, they stick to one thing or they just might find that what they thought they liked, they like something better. So that was nice. Thank you, Holly. I love that. The best way to find where you're going is to try a lot of different things. And I see all of our mentors adding to the chat that they are here to help you and to help guide you. So please do connect with all of them. All right, so we are going to um, move on. We thank you for everything. We hope that you learned and explored different career pathways and network and learn from our special guests from BAE. And now it is time for our poll questions. So we have a couple of poll questions only for our teens and next step uppers. They are coming on your screen now. So after this session, how much more do you know about possible opportunities for you at BAE Systems? Oh, 
All right, and we'll move to poll number two. In which ways did the mentors, both speakers and small group mentors, maximize your experience in this session? Please select all that apply. Again, this is multiple choice, so just a reminder that you can select all that apply. Few more seconds for that. Great, and I'm going to pass it over to Zoe for some announcements. All right, thank you all for joining today's session with BAE Systems. They have graciously offered to give all of you an attendance gift for today. Um, you will all be receiving a stress ball shaped like an F 35 fighter jet. The F 35 is actually a program that BAE Systems works on. Um, so Step Up will connect with BAE Systems to get those mailed to you. And can we thank BAE Systems in the chat? Awesome. And now we have some announcements for our teens and Next Step Uppers. This session has been so insightful, but like always, we will have more in store for you. So we have our Step Up Mentorship app up first. There is an, always another way for you guys to earn more points for your team. So be sure to join us here. If you join the app and or comment on a discussion board, you'll get points for your team. Also mentors, you can join the app to connect as well. It is a great tool to connect with other mentors and mentees. And so if you have not downloaded the app yet, there's a link in the chat on how to create, a, a, create an account. And then tomorrow is our very last day of career camp. So join us for our team spirit day. Um, show off your team spirit by wearing your team color or having a fun Zoom background of your team color. The team that has the most people in their theme at the end of the day will get some bonus points. Um, and also remember that you can reference your welcome packet or contact your camp counselor for any more information you might need. And we invite you to, in, to join us in 15 minutes at 915 Pacific time or 1215 Eastern for our next session with LinkedIn. Thank you, Zoe. And that's a wrap, everyone. So thanks so much to our amazing BAE mentors. I thoroughly enjoyed today's session, and we are so honored that you joined us today. So for our teens and Next Step Uppers, don't forget, if you would like to connect with us, the Step Up staff afterwards, um, we'll be staying on for 15 minutes to answer any questions you have and formally connect and just have some fun. As always, thank you guys for choosing to be here with us today and be a part of Step Up, and your engagement always inspires us. Thank you all so much. And next up, uppers and teens, if you would like to stay back, we will be here. Bye, everyone.